so today's video is going to be a little bit different I'm going to be schooling you guys on some tips about <clears throat> that didn't go as smooth as I wanted about bartending um <laughs> Hogging up the glasses there. Anyways, all right, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna be this cringy. It's definitely supposed to be an educational video. At this point, I don't know if I know how to make videos without being cringe. We're gonna put these back on and get into the video for sure this time. I mean, for sure this time, of course, after some adjustments. <laughs> we'll start off with all the glasses right now. All right, guys, so I am a bartender. I've been a bartender for a solid year now will be a thing also this video I've been a bartender for a year now but I've been in the service industry for two years I got hired two months after I turned 21 and as you guys know my birthday is coming up I will be 23 so that's pretty much the duration of my service industry career prior to the job that I have now and just getting hired into the business I had no experience I had no background training I like maybe concessions for basketball games in high school, but I didn't like go to school for this. I didn't get a license for it. I just <laughs> get that one at school. But if it's something that you're interested in, you guys are thinking about becoming a bartender or anything, <laughs> there's definitely some benefits to it. <laughs> Let's get into the video. All right, so actually how I got hired and just even came up on the idea of becoming a bartender is really weird. I'm gonna disclose information that no one knows, probably one or two people know this. Before I got hired where I work now, I worked at Cookout for two weeks. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I literally worked there for two weeks. Let me just tell you about that real quick, a little detour in the video. My glasses can come back on for this. Okay, so um, pretty much I was just dirt poor broke, literally no money, birthday was coming up, had to have some type of money, went to Cherokee for my 21st birthday, broke, some of you may not know that, broke. Anyways, so um, pretty much I needed money, I found out that if you work at Cookout, you get paid every freaking week, so I decided, hey, why not, got hired immediately started working there and literally when I started working there I got asked to be a manager like three days in I'm not even joking people would like tip me through the window like be like just I got so many compliments and maybe it was because cookout is in the hood like don't get me wrong cookout in the hood. it was on where I worked at it was in the hood. but I was living uptown at this moment but you know gentrification another story it just, it wasn't, obviously it wasn't for me, but I would get tipped. Some people would just, I would get so many comments. So I was like, you know what? I really need to be like, I need to work for tips. That's when I was like, I didn't want to be become a server. That was my cookout story. So the glasses can go up now, I guess. As you can see, I really just want these glasses to work. That's when I was like, all right, let me just be try and become a server. So um, I spoke to my older sister and she's a bartender. She was a bartender at this moment and she always would tell me like, Sydney, you need to be working. You make so much money if you like work somewhere because you're friendly. She was like, you like people. I don't like people. Like, you like people. You smile. You're friendly. People like you. And she was just like, you should really try and do that. I remember she came up and I asked her like how she got hired or like how she got into it. And she told me she found her job like on Craigslist. I don't know if it was her current job, her first job previously, but whatever. She was like Craigslist. Now I know what y'all thinking right now. What the freak are you talking about? I'm not finna do no Craigslist. My <laughs> sentiment too, but look at me now. <laughs> so yes, I went on Craigslist and just started looking for like server jobs and stuff like that. And really, guys, jobs be posted on Craigslist. Legitimate jobs. Maybe not legitimate jobs, but jobs post on Craigslist. I had found a few places that were just talking about hiring people, looking for people. It's just ironic that the place that I went to the first time, I just happened to get hired. Yeah, that's the backstory to the real story. Glasses can come back on. Okay. So, as far as getting hired with no experience, glasses coming back off. Maybe a hat would do. Okay, a little better. So, I don't know why I feel the awkward need to have something here comforting me, but I do. Anyways, 
I'll bring you to a set of tips to what I believe contributed to me getting hired with no experience whatsoever. Tip number one, I would just say go during the day. Usually a lot of like service industry jobs, especially if it's like club life, nightlife, it comes alive in the nighttime, the crowd comes out in the nighttime because everyone's off work. If you go during the day, it gives you a nice time to like maybe talk to someone, sit down with someone. Always recommend to speak to a manager and always come prepared with a pen or if you do have a resume, a resume obviously, or but you don't need one. Um, just come ready, go during the day. Again, that's a good time for them to be available to really try and talking and even just care about hiring in that moment. Tip number two, um, I would say I came in there looking cute, like super cute though. Like I wasn't like doing the most. I had some high-waisted jeans on, some heels, and long sleeve bodysuit. I just came in cute. Makeup was done, hair was done. I looked presentable. I was smiling, spoke to the GM, and um, I just looked up because two other managers were there, and I got to sit there and speak with them. I think that that initial that first impression was just like okay wow she's she's a cute girl she's dressed up she looks nice she's smiling we could use her on the team the third tip will really just be based off your personality they want people who like to engage they want a friendly spirit a friendly vibe somebody who can people can talk to they do, it's all about customer service look eager look excited look friendly be open he pretty much asked me if i had any experience i told him no but i pretty much let him know you know i'm open to people i love customer service i have good you know interaction skills i'm a quick learner i actually got hired as bottle service first maybe i need to switch up the look a little bit like should the heck go i feel like as i was just developing as a person like I was changing a lot. I had no bottle service skills. Let me just tell you something. When you come in on your first couple days, it's like a war zone for some reason. Like you want to be the chick that all the girls are looking at you and they're like, who's that? But also the chick that they like, oh, we could use her. You don't want to come in too cocky, too arrogant because there's a thing as far as like people just stepping on toes, show that you want to be a part of the team. It really makes no sense for you to come into an establishment where people are already comfortable in and trying to seem like you own the place. That's a surefire way to have everybody against you. But as long as you just are yourself and true to you, uh, you'll be fine. You should succeed. It doesn't matter. Just do your job. I started off doing bottle service. Just did my job as good as I, as good as I could. Just worked hard, was available, learned, 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 sponged, soaked it all up. Learn from the people who make the most money. That is a really good tip. I learned from the people who were on top. I learned from the people who were making the most money. That's how I learned how to make my bread and butter. And then when I got comfortable, I had my own little way of making my own money. Some people like to flirt. Some people like to engage in a certain way. Some people like to just smile. Some people are about customer service. So you just take a little bit of everyone just to become the superstar <laughs> in my situation as far as bartending goes I just stepped up to the plate we needed more bartenders I was a stellar server so I already had my eye on the position I got so comfortable with the managers and they just knew my worth work ethic everyone was down to teach me so I really just learned within the house trained whenever I could learn drinks whenever I could and then um, became a bartender y'all and I haven't looked back ever since no guys, for real though, bartending is really fun. It's a great way to make good money, quick money, fast money. Whenever you're at work, you get paid. It's a great way to have a second stream of income. If you're looking to make new money, if you have a good personality, it's a great way to get some quick cash, y'all. I love my job, I love what I do. Like this, this is for me, if, if it suits me so well. Um, I see myself being a bartender for the foreseeable future. If you have any personal questions, you can always hit me up. I will show you guys how to make my favorite drinks in the next clips or whatever. It's my video on how I became a bartender with no experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified every time that I post a new video. Okay. 
I'm sorry that my social anxiety came out this video, but I felt like it was time that I stopped hiding from you guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite drinks, and that's a rum punch. So, we're gonna start off with Malibu, Bacardi, lime juice, grenadine, both, <laughs> pineapple juice, and you can do cranberry and orange, but for the sake of this video, we won't. It's my shaker to mix everything up. It's a full shot of Malibu, a half shot of Bacardi, and a half shot of Captain Morgan. But I don't have Captain Morgan for this video, so I'm doing two half shots of Bacardi. Um, for flavor, we're going to do half a ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of grenadine. And then we're going to add in our pineapple juice for that punchy punch. And then we're just going to shake that baby up. Shake what your mama gave ya. Okay. Next, we're going to use a bar tool called a strainer to strain out all the ice and voila that is a rum punch delectable yummy add an orange or a cherry you know we'll take it a step further or even shall i say a mile higher and kick back and enjoy it with some company aka floofy and throw in your favorite movie maybe independence day mr and mrs smith dumb and dumber all great movies thanks for watching guys and i will catch you guys next monday